Hello YouTube, this is Mevinka doing another Let's Play of The Binding of Isaac. I'm your host Mevinka. Um, I was thinking about maybe doing, um, playing another game, like, I had all these plans, like maybe I'd play Sanctum, because Sanctum 2 is coming out on Steam in like four days, and then I was like, maybe I'll play Grimrock, or maybe I'll play, uh, another Dark Scavenger run, and I was just so tired, and I didn't want to do anything else, so I just decided, fuck it, I'm gonna play another game of Binding of Isaac, because I fucking love this game. And I guess I'll take it. I'll uh, I'll play it as a different character this time. Um, one of my less favorite. I don't like this character very much because. Um, uh, so this is Magdalene. So she starts out with extra health compared to Isaac, as you may recall. But um, she's a lot slower, and she starts out with a different item called the Yum Heart. And when I use it, I get a heart back. Um, so I get one heart every six rooms. I don't find her to be that good of a character. Um, at least for starting items, although the extra health is kind of nice. Um, I used to love this character because I was so bad at this game that the only way that I could, um, that I could beat bosses, um, and clear even the first floor was if I had this much health. Um, and even then, uh, it was a little bit, um, a little sketchy. Um, so, since my, uh, subsequent imp improved improvement in playing this game, I've decided that I like this character a lot, lot less, but, um, uh, what the hell, I'm just gonna play with her. Um, I haven't played, um, as Magdalene in a really long time, so we'll see how this goes. The thing that I hate about Magdalene the most, though, is that her speed is so low, and it's usually tolerable, like, if you have a low-speed character, but once it gets fur once you get further and further in the game, you can go a long way without actually getting a speed upgrade, and then by the end of the game, you can't dodge anything because you move so slowly that everything still hits you, even if you have the foresight to move in a certain direction. So, um, getting a speed upgrade for me is imperative with Magdalene, because otherwise I just find her damn, un damn unplayable. Um, let's see what the tarot card is. Um, I suppose I could use my Yum Heart. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll use it. What the hell. Um, this mini boss I think is pretty annoying, but I do have Little Gish as my first item. And so, as you may recall from the previous episode where I got Little Gish, I think at the end, um, or towards the end, Little Gish slows enemies when he hits them. Well, he doesn't always slow enemies, but he has a chance to slow enemies. Um, and a lot of the luck bait. So, oh, whoa, my keyboard just died? Okay, no, I'm good. I'm good. Everything's fine. Um, wow, I'm actually doing pretty well against Envy here. Um, Envy can be a pretty annoying boss. I think he's kind of obnoxious. Um, but certainly not the worst mini boss that I could run into. Super Envy is pretty bad because he splits into three parts instead of just two every single time you blow up a section. So that's kind of that's kind of frustrating. But normal Envy, not so bad. Um, you may be hearing yelping and screaming from outside. I have no idea what the hell is going on. Uh, but since I'm filming in my dorm room, sometimes things just happen. There was a there was like an airplane or something flying around uh, earlier. And I didn't feel anything because all of the sound was being drowned out by. The noise of the airplane flying. Um, so that, that was kind of unfortunate, but okay. So this is the widow that I'm fighting, um, and he's pretty obnoxious. Um, I'm actually pretty bad against the widow, which is a little embarrassing because a lot of people find him to be a really easy boss. But um, I get really annoyed by the little spider um, nests that he drops um, because those will spit out spiders and you don't kill them fast enough. So I get preoccupied killing those. Um, we got Squeezy here as our item, which I will take. I really like this item. It makes us shoot faster, and it gives us two blue hearts. Um, and do I want to explore the rest of the floor? You know, I think I will, because I think I have a hunch as to where our secret room is. And as you may recall from last game, the secret room oftentimes has really good stuff in there. Um, money is most of the time what's in the secret room, but if you're lucky, you'll find some good items. Oh, I found it. Good. Um, we got some money. We got some good money, because we got a nickel. Um, and if you recall from the last video, a nickel goes a long, long way, um, since most of the items in this game, all the most expensive items in the shop cost only 15 cents. Um, so, okay, here we go. Here's a room with some of these nasty spider nets that I, spider nests that I hate. Um, pretty much any enemy that spits out other enemies, I find annoying. Um, this enemy is similar. It's, a uh, it's like a big spider that turns into two little ones, which is always, uh, obnoxious to deal with. Um, but I digress. We'll just continue on here. I only have 11 cents, so I'm not gonna go into the shop because I only have one key, and it's probably not worth using my one key to not even be able to buy the special item that's in there. Um, and I'm good on health. I really wish I had a speed upgrade, though. See, that's what I hate about Magdalene, because most other characters start with 
decent speed, so you don't have to worry about it, and you can, like, re-roll the speed upgrade because it's kind of a waste of a slot. But with Maglin, a speed upgrade, in my opinion, is just absolutely essential because otherwise, in the end, I'm just going to end up taking a bunch of stupid damage from things that I know I can dodge. It's just that my character just won't physically move fast enough to dodge. Okay, here we go. And dead. Do I want to use one of my bombs to get that? I think I do. So let's just blow this up. And... Oh, shit, troll bomb. Oh, wow. I cannot believe I dodged that troll bomb. I thought it was going to hit me for sure. Um, let's see here. Oh, more spiders. Um, let's see here. Uh, so the nice thing about these little, um, these, like, nubs of, like, spider, net, spider, blah, you call them spider webs. Spider nests, or, like, the little red ones that shoot the, shoot the bloody tear things at you. Oh, I took a whole spear of heart damage. I almost took a spear of heart and a half of damage in this room. Thank God I did not screw that up royally. Um, but anyway, the nubs won't shoot stuff at you if you, um, if you hit them. So you can just hit them a little bit and then kill all the other stuff and then keep hitting them so that they're never full size. And that will basically stop them from being obnoxious. Let's pop the fire and the poop. Um, and let's keep going. I want to at some point hunt for the secret room again because I have a- oh god, I ran into him. That was- that was just my bad completely. Oh, dodge that. Um, so there are these spider webs on the ground and when you walk on them you do move slower. And when you, um, when you, when you put a bomb near them, they do blow up. Oh, um, I think this is Abel. Yeah. So Abel is a familiar. He just, he's a mirror image of me, approximately. Like, his position is always going to be, like, just a little bit off. Um, let's see here. I guess I'll try and find my secret room now. And hope for... Okay, here we go. What I get? More money, which is great if I had some keys right about now. Um, I may have to go into the arcade and play some arcade games and hope to get some keys. Um, that might be worth it, but let's go find our boss first. Um, I have this Devil Tarot card, which gives me a lot of bonus damage from the room. So I'll use this card and get disgusting looking blood tears. Um, Little Gish is actually going to be really useful because um, it'll make it so that when uh, Famine, the one full horseman Famine charges, he'll move really slowly and it won't be as hard. Okay, uh, killed him. All right, great. So I get a cube of meat. All the four horsemen always give you a cube of meat. And the interesting thing about the cube of meat item is that um, when you get the first cube of meat, it's just like a red cube that spins around you and blocks, and blocks uh, projectiles from hitting you. And when you get a second cube of meat from finding another one of the four horsemen, it turns into a little head and it shoots tears um, as you shoot, kind of like um, my familiars that I have. When you get a third cube of meat, it turns into a little meat boy that runs around and automatically, like, stomps on things and does damage to them. And then you can get a fourth and final cube of meat, and that will make the meat boy, like, bigger and stuff. So let's go in here and see what I got. Uh, interesting, but not really what I want. Guppy's paw, as you may recall from the last game, is good at the end of the game. But in, right now I'm too slow and not, uh, I don't have the Polaroid, so that's not very useful to me. So I'm actually just going to leave. And now I'm going to go, because I really want to go to the shop to get an item. So I'm going to go in here and play these guys until I get some keys, hopefully. So that, so yeah. Um, the shell game, by the way, is totally random. Um, I can't, you can't actually, like, predict or guess, like, which shell's going to be. It just randomly chooses one. And then, if you're lucky, you get it. And if you're not, oh, I got a key from that. Good. Oh, man. I take, oh, that's... Uh, I will also play this. This It's called a blood bank. It fuels your gambling addiction in this game. It allows you to trade in hearts for money, which I will most certainly do because I have some of these hearts laying around. Um, now let's go to the shop because I really want to buy stuff there. I'll pick this guy up. So yeah. I know uh, buying a bicycle, some people really hate the backtracking, but I think it's essential to strategically playing the game. So I do it no matter what. Um, this pill, I like pills, even though they're risky. Tears down. Um, kind of shitty, but not. it could have been worse. I'll buy the sip spirit heart, and I'll buy the key as well. Um, so that way I'll have one key to start the next floor, which is always good, because it means I'll at least be able to go into my item room for sure. Um, but yeah, so... The pill that gives us tears down isn't as bad because I got the squeezy item which increased my tears, so I think it just sort of evens out. Um, it's still bad to get negative pills, but it's not the worst thing in the world. 
Um, oh, that's right, and I got the compass, which is really great. Um, let's go down this way. Got some of these, um... So the way, the key to dodging these flies is actually to not move. Because if you're far away enough, um, they can't hit you. Let's see what's in this mob trap room. Uh, I think it's worth it, because I need more consumables. All I got from that was a pill, and I don't think I've gotten that pill before, so... That might have been a good thing or a really bad thing. We'll have to find out. Um, so let's kill these things. The reason why I don't want to pick up the pill right away is because when you pick up items, you sort of like hold them up in the air over your head, Zelda style, for a couple seconds. Okay, it's maybe not like two seconds long, but it's a little bit. And it's enough that items that are like, or items, enemies that are chasing you will totally hit you. If, oh man, that was, that was bad damage. Oh good, my human meat stopped, stopped me from taking damage right there, which was really good. Oh, okay, one more hit. One more hit, and he's dead. Okay, I need to hit this guy like two or three more times. These guys are annoying because it's kind of erratic when they come out of the shells. Wow, I got hit a second time. Okay, pills. Friends to the end. It gives me three attack flies. Not the worst pill in the world. Could have been a lot worse. Um, and it will be kind of helpful. Um, oh, look, I got one of those blue rocks, which is good because um, blowing that up means that I'm going to get um, probably a spirit heart. Uh, I got two spirit hearts, which is great. Um, so let's... Oh, God. So these guys are greed monsters. They shoot in a similar pattern to, um, the big, like, weird-looking flies that I fought a few moves ago. But the difference is that when I get hit by these guys, I lose money. Um, my money count actually decreases whenever I get hit by those things. So it's important to try and... Re oh, God. Scary ride. Okay, this is one of those nubs I was talking about earlier. Oh, okay, shit. As long as I hit... I, as long as I keep it hit... It won't do damage to me. These guys that have legs, though, will just shoot no matter what I do, so... There you go. Screw you guys. Um... Crack the sky. Crack the sky makes it so that when I use it, like, a bunch of beams fall from the sky and randomly hit things. I guess it's better than the Yum Heart. I don't really like the Yum Heart that much. I think there are more strategic items because I think it's too passive and too defensive. Um, so I guess I'll just... Oh god, oh god, okay. So if I play my cards right... So, I took one half blue heart of damage, but I get some invincibility every time I take damage, so I used it to blow up all the walking bomb dudes, and I got a blue heart out of it, so I actually net increased my health there. Um, so I'm kind of proud of how I played that. Okay, so the Blighted Ovum. Uh, this guy's kind of hard to hit with. Ah, not a single one of those hit. That's annoying. It's hard to hit that, um, hit with that item, though, just because, uh, especially when these guys move. Oh my god, this is bad. I misplayed that majorly. And this is the kind of boss that Magdalene kind of sucks against, because, um, she moves so damn slow. Oh, good. Um, so I got an angel room. The, the angel room, oh, lucky toe. I'll explain, so many things to explain. So the angel room is an alternative version of the devil room, and it usually, I think, occurs when you go into a devil room, but then you don't take anything and then the next time you have an increased chance of getting the angel room and the angel room gives you an item for free usually not as broken or game changing as the devil room items but they also come come with no cost so they're nice i just got the miter and the miter makes it so that it increases the chance of getting those blue hearts and getting that item also means that the yum heart is even more useless now because as long as i have blue hearts i actually can't take red heart damage and so the yum heart doesn't help me in any way um, so now I'm gonna take this pill. Balls of Steel, two blue hearts, perfect. Um, two of clubs, I believe, doubles the number of bombs that I have, which is good. Um, and I'm gonna go hunt for the secret room, because I think it's up here. So I will double the number of bombs right now, and blow this guy up, and hope for something useful. Nope. Alright, I think I'm gonna go clear the rest of the floor then, because I do want to maximize my item chances. Plus, I really would like to get a speed upgrade at some point. So, if the troll engine could just give me a random drop of that, I would be so happy. Um, so, the lucky toe is a trinket that I picked up. And trinkets are kind of like passive items, but they're more temporary. Um, and they're more based on randomness um, than some other stat effects. The lucky toe just increases the chances that I will get... Um, that I will get um, consumables dropped on the ground. Let's um, blow this up. Nope, uh, okay, I think there's one last place that it could be, um, and then I'm just fucking out of ideas. Oh, wait, did I blow up this one? Yeah, this is the one. I think it might be here. Let's see here. No? Oh, man, that sucks. Um, well, could, I don't know if I really want to use up so many bombs now. Um, 
Fuck it, I'll try it. I have 10 bombs. Um, and I'll pick up more. Wow! I did not guess a single correct, um, correct secret room place. That's really depressing. That's okay, though. Um, I don't know if I even would have had the likelihood of getting a speed upgrade from the secret room. I was just really hoping for anything there to help. So now we're going to go to the caves, part two. Um, we'll use our compass to help us get around. So I want to go to the hider room. Oh, I gotta be careful in this room because if I mess this up, I will definitely take damage. Um, you gotta keep your distance from these guys because the closer you get, the more likely it is that they'll shoot a giant explosive bomb thing at you. And nobody wants that. Okay, more greed monsters. Although I think as long as I stay over this chasm, they can't hit me. Um, plus all their shots, like just sort of the angle that their shots happen, I can't take damage as long as I go still. Okay, this one across the gap. Okay, uh, oh, careful. Okay, just, oh. Uh, okay, good. Good. Little Gish finished them off for me. Uh, I'm gonna go this way because I really want to get to that, uh... Okay, good. Um, let's blow these guys up. Oh god, oh god. So, these, um, I don't even remember what these things are called. I just call them vagina monsters, because when they open up their thingies to shoot worms out, they look like a vagina. Some people will disagree with me and say that I'm full of crap, but it totally looks like that to me. Um, so let's get this key. Um, go here. Ooh! Uh, Daddy Longlegs! So, now this is nasty, well, not nasty, but there's a big shadow that follows me around. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, but, uh... Now, whenever I go into a room, um, Daddy Longlegs will target enemies, and a giant foot will stomp down. Kind of like the mom boss fight, but it'll be a spider foot-looking thing. And it'll do a ton of damage to my enemies. Um, it's a really good item. It's really rare, but I actually got it. I've gotten it a couple of times now in the last few runs. So, there you go. You see that giant leg that's, like, homing around and, like, finding enemies and stomping on them? Um, it's not very good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I knew I was going to take damage. There was nothing I could do to avoid it. Um, yes. But I did get a blue heart. Um, probably the work of the miter being awesome. Now, I don't have the map, and I don't have enough money. So, I guess if I really wanted to, I could get... I could use two bombs and get four cents, and that would put me up to nine. Let's just go in the shop first and see what's in there. Um, okay, so it's the pickaxe, so I don't even want that, because it's a spacebar item. And all it does is it lets me... I think all it does is it lets me blow up a rock, like one rock in a room I get to like, um, I get to remove. So it's kind of like a bomb, but way worse. Um, and I don't want this random money here, so I think I'm just gonna go find my boss. Um, I'm doing really well on health, but like, like I said, I really want some speed upgrades, because this is just not gonna go very well otherwise. Oh good, so, oh good, I got a net increase in hearts, and I have, ooh! I got Transcendence, so now I'm just a floating head, and I have Flight now, which is really useful because now I can definitely get all the, um, all the coins in all those other rooms. So let's go blow up into the arcade. I'm not gonna play anything in the arcade because I don't think it's necessary, but I will go grab all these consumables that I couldn't grab earlier because I didn't have Flight. Uh, yeah, the bombs are useful. I'm now up to 11 bombs, that's good. Now I'm gonna go pick up, like, 9 cents. And then we'll go fight the boss and be done with this floor. I, seriously, I know I keep talking about the speed thing, but, like, it causes me physical distress. Like, I'm twitching right now because I'm moving so slowly and I want to get through this room, like, faster. Um, that room is vaguely in the shape of a swastika, so go Binding of Isaac. Um, let's see. I swear I'm not a white supremacist. Uh, alright. Let's see here. Let's go here. Okay. These guys should be pretty easy for Daddy Long Legs, or that works too. Um, that's a trinket, it's called the Liberty Cap, not interested. Um, do I want to fight this? I guess I do. Yeah, key totally was worth it if I got a key out of it. So Daddy Long Legs will probably do a lot of work on these, um, these next couple of floors, because a lot of the enemies will just get one shot by Daddy Long Legs. Uh, later on, it might not be that easy for Daddy Long Legs to be useful, because... Oh, these moblin things. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, they're all, none of them are like the fast kind, which is good because the fast kind really, really hurt Magdalene. Oh, let's try and dodge this again. Um, I could use the, um, the item that I have, but I don't want to. I actually want to save it for the boss. I got another blue heart. Wow, the miter is really, like, working hard for me right now. It's great. Um, okay, these flies, let's try to start the chain reaction of the sentry. Nope. Okay, that's good. Oh my god, I got hit by that, and I was so slow that I couldn't move out of the way. 
Pestilence is another one of four horsemen. So like I said earlier, um, once I kill Pestilence, uh, once I once I kill him, I will get another cube of meat, and it will make the current cube of meat I have a slightly better item that does that does a little bit more than just like spin around me. Um, so here we go. So now it's in the face of a Super Meat Boy, which is another one of the games that the guy who made this game made. It's pretty popular. All right, now I'm in the depths. So I'm two floors, this floor and the next floor, and then I'll have I'll be able to kill Mom. Well, I'll have the opportunity to kill Mom. Okay, I gotta be really careful. I gotta pay attention here because uh, oftentimes when I'm like focusing down one enemy, I forget that there's another one waiting to shoot me. Um, and thank goodness they, they take time to charge up, otherwise I would've taken a shit ton of damage there. Now, I could just go this way and then fight the boss, but I do want to go to the shop because I have 16 cents, which means... Oh, I took damage, that was stupid. Um, which means that I can, um, uh, and get some... Oh, definitely with a dime I want to go to the shop now. Um, let's go in here. Uh, we get a sack of pennies, which really isn't that great because pretty soon there aren't going to be any shops anymore. Um, and then money will be kind of useless. Which is, yeah, so that's disappointing that that was the item I got. I really don't do very much damage, and I could use, um, use a speed upgrade, troll engine. If you really care about, uh, if you really care about my success, you should, uh, you should hook me up, because this sucks. Um, that turret in the middle, by the way, is invincible. There's nothing I can do to get rid of him. The only thing I can possibly do is, uh, kill all the enemies. And then, oh shit, then the turret will go to sleep, basically, and not do anything. Oh, careful, careful. These masks move really fast, so I gotta be really careful when I fight them, because they will end me. And also, um, one of the annoying things about Daddy Long Legs and other, like, homing enemy-type items is that I enemies that, um, are basically invincible, like the mask part, um, of that heart mask combo, the Daddy Long Legs will always, like, target those things, and you just basically don't get anything. Uh, so I got the card, the High Priestess, which is actually a really good card. What the High Priestess does is when I use it, um, Mom's foot will actually come down and stomp on an enemy and do a ton of damage. So depending on who my boss is in the next room, this could be really useful for basically just ending the fight really early. Um, so let's go here. Um, Alright, uh, it's the Headless Horseman. So I'm gonna use this. Um, do a shit ton of damage, actually. Which is great. Um, I don't really actually need to use the, uh... The, the High Priestess card yet, because I'm going to kill this guy so fast. Okay. Um, the Pony. Interesting. The Pony is a passive item that gives me flight, uh, and it gives me a... Uh, when I hit spacebar, I become invincible and I dash in a certain direction. I... Do I want the Pony? I don't know. Let's take a look at what's in our Angel Room first. Uh, Scapular. Not that great of an item. Uh, it just gives me a blue heart when I get down to half a red heart or less. Um, which is like, it prolongs my death if I get down to that far, but it's- Oh, the, actually, the pony also gives me a speed up, so I will grab that, because it makes me move just a little bit faster, and I am just sick and tired of moving so slowly, so I'm definitely going to use this. Okay, so I'm just gonna let- <laughs> I'm gonna let Daddy Long Legs do all the work here, because he can just stomp on all my enemies and make this fight incredibly easy for me. Um, Gish is really useful here, too. I can't go into that mob trap room, because... I don't have... I don't have low enough health. Oh, I took damage. Oh, good. I blew both of those up with my, um... With my, uh, with my bomb, which was really nice. Alright, Daddy Long Legs, I want you to blow this guy up. Yes! Okay, good. That was, uh, that was good teamwork, Daddy Long Legs. Okay. Slowing down. Wow, slowing down is really useful with, um, this item. Was it good to open that chest? I don't know. I got some more money, which I guess is okay. Oh, these these enemies are weird. Their heads attached to bodies, and you blow them up, and then they become different enemies, like mini versions of themselves. Okay. Um, okay, good. I got my key back, which is good. I want more keys. I don't have very many, which is a little distressing. I also do no damage. Um, I just realized I haven't gotten a single damage upgrade, which is going to be problematic for me in the very near future. I will probably be able to kill Mom just because I'm that awesome, so even though my items aren't that good, 
I'll still be able to do all right, but I don't know about what's going to happen after mom. Wow, I got a lot of stuff right there. That was really worth it, actually, which is a little surprising. Oh, one of the nice things about flying is I can fly over the nasty creep stuff, and it won't hurt me anymore. Oh, troll bomb, troll bomb, troll bomb. Okay, good. Um, let's go to the item room and see what we got. Um, forever alone. So, hold on, let's blow this up. Okay, so the forever alone is an attack fly that permanently spins around me in a circle. I am really bad at using this item. Uh, I guess, no, if I go fight the boss now, I won't be able to exit, so... I need to go get the shop first, because I want to buy the item in there. Assuming there is one, even, um, which is not necessarily the case. So, let's go around, I think it's around here? Oh, god. These guys are like those, um, those worm-shooting monsters, except they shoot a giant fucking laser beam instead. Which is a little bit more intimidating. Okay, four keys, that's a good number of keys for now. Okay, good. These little fetus things are so annoying, and the noise they make is freaky, and I hate it. But, you know, it's a of Isaac, what are you gonna do? Alright, um, the Hierophant. That's a really good card. Gives me two soul hearts. Man, I am just loaded right now. Um, let's see here. Oh, you know what I could do? Actually, because there's an arcade over there. So here's what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go to the arcade, I'm gonna get myself down to one heart, I'm gonna go to the mob trap room, I'll pick up the item in the mob trap room, and then hopefully I'll, there'll be enough hearts that'll heal me, at least almost all the way back. Um, and this will give me a shit ton of money too. And then after I do that, I can go to the shop, and then I'll go find mob. I'm being really thorough, um, and hopefully that doesn't annoy you all, because I know it takes a while. Um, this game takes forever when you're thorough about it, but, um... I think it's worth it because I like not losing at this game, uh, and losing sucks, and so let's see, let's go to that mob trap room now that I have one heart. Um, you might be saying, hey, Mevin Ka, you have like a shit ton of blue hearts, how come that doesn't matter? Uh, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, having blue hearts doesn't stop you from entering. HP upgrade, I'll take it. It's not a bad item, it's just not as good as I want it to be, I guess. But, hey, beggars can't be choosers. Um, so, oh, let's try not to die here. Oh god, I ran into the stupid worm guy. I am frustrated with that. I do not know why I decided to do that. Alright, just die already. And you die here. Okay. Peep, always obnoxious. And he's gonna, oh, that's right. Damn it, I hit him with the gish right before he jumped. So his jump didn't move very far, but I assumed it was going to move far. And that was just my mistake. Okay, uh, this boss fight's pretty easy. Oh, god, I totally got hit by that. That is annoying. Um, okay, so now I guess I'm gonna go find this shop, because I really want it, and I have 57 cents, which is definitely enough to buy all the things that I need in the shop. Um, good. Daddy Long Lakes is basically the only reason that I'm successful, even a little bit, in this run right now. Because he is just doing work. Just killing things all day, every day. Alright, let's open this up. Isaac's head? Not that good. I'd rather have the Lucky Toe because it increases the chance of consumables dropping. And I definitely want those more. Although I guess money is consumable and I definitely don't need any more of that. So, I don't know. Okay, good. More hearts. That's always a good thing. Shop is the coin purse. So let's see what I get. That is Friends to the End, which is an okay pill, I'll use it. I don't know what this pill is. Telepills. Oh! Wow! How incredibly lucky that this happened. Uh, so, this is called the I Am Error Room. There's like a one in a bajillion chance that you get this room when you teleport. And I totally got this room. Um, so I get a health upgrade that I purchased. Um, I'll buy the bomb. And I guess I'll get the portable slot machine and just play it a bunch. Um, so yeah, that was a bit surprising. This is not something that happens very frequently. And for whatever reason, I'm getting incredibly lucky on these runs. Um, I'll just go down to 30 and then stop, because this is boring. I got a bomb for that, that was good. And nothing, nothing. Alright, back to the pony, because I like flying with the pony. Um, and away we go, into the womb. That was interesting. I was not expecting that even a little bit. Um, okay, good. So the reason, the thing that's gonna make this floor a little bit easier is that we have the compass. I still do like basically no damage, which.
which is really unfortunate. Oh, gotta be careful here, because those... Ah, I knew that was gonna happen! I knew it was gonna happen! Oh my god, I want... I'm just dodging so terribly right now. Um, Spectral Tears right now would be really nice. You know, I really shouldn't be doing so much work, because I have the, um, the Daddy Long Legs to do all this for me. So I don't know why I'm struggling so hard on this floor. Okay, that's good. Um, let's just go to our boss as soon as possible. Telepills! Um, you know, I don't really want to use those because it might increase the amount of floor that we have to go on. Oh god, that was scary. That was very scary. Very scary. Uh, scary ride. Okay, oh! Oh my god, I cannot believe- I thought I was gonna take damage there for sure. Okay, this room is not hard enough. It's okay, I still took damage because I would jump. Okay, uh, money, a key. Alright, time to fight, uh, the bloat! Alright, I hate this boss, because he shoots lasers really fast. Um, but the nice- oh, like that, see, it's hard to see when he's gonna shoot. Um, okay. Uh, oh god, I'm getting hit by everything right now. Oh man! Damn it, I'm really bad at this. Uh, god, I hate the bloat, I think- oh, oh! I didn't get hit by that, oh good. Uh, another HP upgrade, which is also a tears upgrade. A spirit heart, good. And the Bible. I don't want the Bible. So here's what the Bible does. It gives you wings for a room. And against the mom boss fight, which I skipped because of the I am error room, and the next boss fight, I will instantly kill them. However, I think the pony is more important for our long-term chances just because it's the only item I have that's making me move even a little bit faster. Um, and even as poor as my dodging is, it would be even worse if I was moving even slower just because um, it's so hard to dodge things when you actually can't move fast enough. Um, wow, I, I'm trying to play really carefully right now. Um, okay, good. Daddy Long Legs is... It is actually the only reason that I am alive right now, I swear. I've gotten, I have not gotten a single damage upgrade this entire game, and um, that's definitely going to be the thing that hurts me the most later. Okay, good. Killed him. Oh, shit. This is not where our boss is. I was really hoping this would be where our boss was. Um, got a spider glitching out over there, which is interesting. Um, the unfortunate thing is, in our Isaac and Blue Baby fights, as you may have recalled from the first video, the Daddy Long Legs is absolutely useless. He stomps one time, and then he leaves forever. Um, what is in... should I bother even? Oh, I don't think so. Let's use the Telepills and see where it takes us. It did save us a little bit of backtracking, so now I'm gonna go up, because I'm pretty sure that is where our boss is gonna be. I think he's gonna be around here. Oh, this boss is obnoxious. Actually, if I stand on top of this rock, I can just let um, Daddy Longlegs do all the work for me. Um, but that's kind of a cheesy way to win, so I'm gonna try and still fight him. He's... Oh, good. Little Gish is really good against this boss, because it makes it so he can't really move very fast, um, which is really nice. I have 26 bombs. Oh, fuck it again. Um, let's try and blow up all the other things, so that way when Dad's foot comes down, it's always on, uh, it's always on the freaking boss. Oh good, and he's dead! Good. Okay. And I got a spirit heart for that, which is always a good thing. Um, all this useless money is a little disappointing, I guess. Um, Alright, let's, uh, boss fight. Okay, oh good! So now there's a judgment, so he's gonna take my money, and at a certain point, he'll spit out an item. I have no idea what the item's gonna be, but hopefully it's a good one. Uh, the ladder. Totally useless because I have two flying items. And so I can access everything already. Uh, but I guess it's time to fight It Lives. My fetus baby on a heart thing. Uh, okay, good. Daddy Long Legs. Bone is late. Okay, let's shoot a bomb in there. Um, to help get some of the crowd in. Okay. Um, so Monstro needs to die. I do so little damage. I do not know what I'm gonna do with Isaac. I do not foresee myself actually beating the entirety of the game this time. I just don't think it's possible. Oh, I almost killed all of them. Okay. Okay, all dead. Uh, bombs are actually pretty strategic in place, so that was good. Oh good, 
good. So I'm in the I'm in the permanent bomb throwing state now, um, which is always good. Uh, I'm just gonna spawn some more items now. It's these annoying fat flies that I seriously always take damage from. Oh, that's frustrating. That's okay though. Alright, so we'll pretty handily win this boss fight. Um, still can't say for sure about the future ones that are going to happen soon. Okay, good. So, um, I need to go up into this light to go to the cathedral. You may be thinking that angel room looks promising. What, what go in there, Kevin? You'll get some awesome item. Um, it's actually empty, uh, and it'll just take me down to hell, which is another level. But I want to go to the cathedral, because the cathedral is the only way that I can get to the chest. Um, empty room. Wow, that does not happen off in the cathedral. Um, two empty rooms in a row. What? Um, that was surprising. Oh, good. So these are the blue, the blue monsters. The blue versions will probably drop us here. So I came out of that room health neutral. Um, famine. This will be obnoxious. Um, but he does not have very much health, so a couple of stamps probably, probably finish him off pretty quickly. Okay. I don't have tears that can go through walls, so it's kind of difficult to shoot him when he's there. Uh, this room kind of sucks, but it's definitely a milder room than some of the other ones I could have had. It's okay though, I still cornered myself like an idiot, and um, so that's fun. I blow you up. Okay, good. <sighs> okay, so I don't anticipate <laughs> I don't anticipate winning this fight, but I guess we're gonna try it. I have not used the pony effect yet, so I think I will in a second. Um, okay, so Dad stomped. He's gonna stomp once, and that's it. Wow, I managed to dodge all that? I don't think I'm really dodging, just not getting hit by the luck, basically. Um, so, he's shooting a ton right now. Oh, God. Oh, sweet Jesus. Scary ride! Um, okay, I'm gonna use this now. I did, like, no damage to him with my little dash. Um... Okay. Oh, now he's gonna shoot these advanced evil machines. Oh, good. So Little Kish is actually... Well, I'm probably still gonna die, but Little Kish is helping me because he's making it so that his tears don't move as fast when he's in the black slowed up, slowed down state. Um... Which is unfortunately not happening very... Oh, God, I almost took damage right there. I've not taken damage for a while, though, so not that good. I, things are not going as badly as I thought they were going to. There's a possibility that I actually win this fight. Um, now I'm getting a little worried. Oh god! Oh god, I'm, I'm so scared right there, but that giant purple thing is gonna hit me. Oh, I totally fucked up that bomb. Oh my god, I got hit by the white laser. One more hit will do it. I'm pretty guaranteed to die right now. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Please, just die! Oh my god, how am I still alive? Oh no, I ran into the purple thing. Oh. Well, good try. It was a good effort. Um, I got surprisingly far for having uh, no damage upgrades that entire game. Um, so, thanks for watching. Um, and, uh, you know, I guess better luck next time. Uh, see y'all.